Hi, I am Dr. Kang at Wellness Hospital in Busan, Korea. Today, let's see the new concept of ligation for internal hemorrhoid grade 1 to grade 3. Over 60 years, we excised hemorrhoidal pile or ligated with rubber bands. Rubber band ligation takes short procedure time and causes less pain. Therefore, we frequently perform at outpatient department. Its recurrence rate is between 10 and 20 percent. But as we know, rubber band ligation has two serious disadvantages. First is the delayed bleeding. Rubber band cannot cause a definitive endothelial injury at hemorrhoidal vessels in it so that thrombocytes cannot come in contact with the collagen layer which is necessary to form a thrombocyte plug at injured site. Therefore, one or two weeks after rubber band ligation, 3 or 8 percent patients may experience a serious delayed bleeding by detachment of hemorrhoidal pile. Second is the stricture. If we deploy over three rubber bands in one session, our purpose by performing that band ligation is a lift up of hemorrhoidal pile by longitudinal constriction. But rubber band causes a transverse constriction also. Here, the banana clip can overcome these two disadvantages. Banana clip is composed of hard polymer that causes a definitive endothelial injury. This results a thrombocyte plug at ligated site of hemorrhoidal vessel to prevent delayed bleeding. In according to my personal experience, there is no delayed bleeding after over 1,600 deployment uh, of banana clip. Furthermore, banana clip causes a constriction of hemorrhoidal pile only longitudinally, but not transversely. Therefore, even though we deploy more than three banana clips in one session, there is no stricture in the anal canal. Good? If so, let's go to the operating room. So, as you saw, the banana clip is very convenient for loading and deploying. The remnant external hemorrhoid can be excised additionally. Thank you for your attention.